With my interior scene already prepared, I'm gonna add a camera. So to do that, let's press Shift A and choose camera from the list. And I now press Z and choose the wireframe view. You can see the camera has a rotation applied. So we need to reset that. Let's press Alt R to do it. And now I can place the camera at the location I want my panorama to render from. So it's gonna be somewhere here. And to have a little bit better control, I will add additional 3D viewport here. And I will now rotate the camera by 90 degrees. So I'm pressing the R key, now X to limit the rotation to the X axis. And I'm gonna hold control key to have this 10 degree increments. So here down below, you can see the exact rotation. And now I'm gonna rotate the camera like this by 180 degrees. And now I'm gonna press Ctrl Numpad 0 to have a preview directly from my camera. Let's now press this green button here and change the camera type from perspective to panoramic. So once I press the Z key and choose the rendered view, we will have a real-time preview of our 360 camera. And the default view, it's going to be a fish eye lens. So it looks like that. If I move the camera back and forth using this view, you can see the real time changes. I think it's a pretty cool preview. But what we have to use is the equirectangular lens type. For the correct 360 panorama rendering, we also need to change the resolution. So the X value has always, uh, always has to be in double the Y value. So this is the resolution I would suggest using for the previews. And if we choose the rendered view here again, you will see a different type of panorama displayed, different to the fish eye that we had before. So this is how your panorama should look like. For the final rendering, I would suggest using 4000 by 2000 or either, even 6000 by 3000. So you can type those values manually or you can just use this slider and type 200% or 300%. So let's now render the panorama and see how it looks like. Rendering a full resolution good quality panorama might be a little bit time consuming, but I think it's worth waiting and the panorama you have won't work with most of the online applications on the go just like that so we still need to change a little bit within the jpeg file itself and now i'm going to show you how to do this go to the website called dxifier.net and then drag and drop your panorama to this box now hit this blue button go to the XMP gpano tags here and here within the projection type type equire equirectangular exactly the same name as what we had in blender and it has to be all with lower cases no tricks here so then you click this blue button close the editor and download the image back to your computer and after applying all those tricks, you can go to the worst website on the internet where for some reason all of our families gather, drag and drop this 360 panorama to your Facebook wall or whatever, how it's called, and show your family, your mom, your dad, your sister that you're doing something valuable with your life by rendering those rotatable images. For them, it will be magic for sure. But on the serious note, 360 panoramas are really cool things to have. And right now we are working on a platform other than Facebook to allow our choco for users to publish their works and share them with the world. So as soon as it's ready, I'm gonna share the news with you. As for now, I really hope you enjoyed this video and please remember you can also check the written version of this tutorial on the Choco4 website, which I'm linking down below just in case you would like to follow each step a little bit slower and more carefully.
So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be great if you could subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support what we are doing at Chocofur, you can just go to the Chocofur store and suit yourself. Perhaps you'll find something that's going to be useful in your future Blender projects. I really hope to see you soon in my future Blender videos. And for now, never stop blending. Bye bye, guys.